Vaigruji ka khalsa, Vaigruji ki fateh. I'm currently outside Downing Street where the celebrations of Vaisakhi are currently going on in Downing Street, as you can see behind me. And we've had all of the high profile people go in at the moment. And uh, the celebrations have been going on with a lot of pomp inside. David Cameron has also made a special speech about Vaisakhi. It's the third year now that Vaisakhi has been celebrated at Downing Street. And of course, David Cameron is the first British Prime Minister to actually have Vasaki here at Downing Street and it's a wonderful pleasure to be here. You're all extremely welcome here tonight and there are really just three things I wanted to say. The first is a very, very warm welcome to number 10 Downing Street. I'm really delighted that this is the third Vasaki reception that I've been able to host here in number 10 Downing Street and I particularly look forward to the one next year because I made a little calculation in my head and I believe I'm right in saying that next year will be the 160th anniversary of the first Sikh arriving in the United Kingdom back in 1854 which was I think, although I have to check, considerably before the uh, Camerons made it south from Scotland to England. <laughs> Um, and of course, the first Gurdwara was established here in London decades ago. So I'm looking forward to that anniversary next year, and you're all hugely welcome. And I wanted to welcome you particularly this year, because I think the highlight of my year so far, in a job that takes me to meet some extraordinary people and to some extraordinary places, was the visit that I was able to make to Amritsa to see for myself the Golden Temple, uh, really the spiritual home of your religion. And uh, I have to say it was an incredibly moving and memorable experience. Um, might be right to say that when I'm hit with trouble and turbulence and problems <laughs> that I can just think back to those beautiful calm waters around the Golden Temple, the wonderful smell of the japatis being cooked for people who visited and as I discovered, visited from all over the world, the very first person I met, I put out my hand and said, hello, I'm David Cameron. And they said, yes, I know, I'm from Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing is a, a very, very warm welcome. I'm really delighted to hold uh, this reception. And I'm delighted to be holding it uh, in 2013, where now, for the first time in a long time, I think that uh, British Sikhs are also properly represented in Parliament and I'm very proud of the fact that we have on the Conservative benches and on other benches but British Sikhs who are there uh, in their own right and making a fantastic contribution as people like Paul Uppel are and he's very welcome and he gave me a good guide to the Golden Temple and I can say something about that. Now the second thing I wanted to say is I think tonight is a night to celebrate the immense contribution that British Sikhs make to our country. Uh, we have another anniversary coming up, which will be a huge reminder of that, and that is, of course, next year will be the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War. And you can visit, and I'm sure many of you has, have visited, those cemeteries in France and in Belgium where lie uh, many, many brave Sikhs <laughs> who fought uh, against uh, Germany in that important struggle and who fought for Britain and for our allies. And when I look around the room, it is obvious what an immense contribution British Sikhs make to our country. There are so many people in this room who are leaders in business, who are taking on what I say about making sure we win in the global race. Um, and there are so many in this room that contribute today to our armed forces, and it's wonderful to have you here. And so many who contribute to all parts of Britain in culture, in music, in the arts, in industry. And it is worth celebrating and recognizing that. And of course, tonight I met uh, someone who doesn't have a very busy time, of course, and that is um, that person who's responsible for looking after the spiritual needs of British Sikhs who end up in prison. Because, of course, you have one of the lowest rates of imprisonment, I think, of any group in our society, because Sikhs are law-abiding and to contribute so much to our country. So that is the second thing, is to really celebrate uh, the immense contribution that you make today 
and the even bigger contribution that you'll make in the future. The third thing I, I want to say, and I speak as a complete non-expert, and that is that tonight is obviously a night also to celebrate the Sikh religion itself. And this is where, if I get this wrong, you can blame Paul Apple because he gave me <laughs> the brief explanation of the three pillars of your faith. The pillar of the absolute belief in, in God and the importance of worshipping God, the spiritual side to your religion that I saw so beautifully at uh, Amritsar. And uh, the second pillar being a respect for work and the importance of work and the dignity that work brings. And the third pillar being the importance of contributing to your community. And those are really such vital pillars of our life here in the United Kingdom. And maybe they are part of the explanation why your community is a model of how a community can integrate into a country, can make such an enormous contribution to that country, but can of course retain the importance of your separate identity at the same time. And that is an identity that this government is very much committed to recognizing and where necessary taking action to help uh, on these issues. There was recently this, uh, the EU can be the cause of trouble sometimes, not always, but <laughs> the issue of aggressive searching of turbans as Sikhs go through airport terminals. We were determined to get to the bottom of this to find out what was really necessary and we've cut through the nonsense and I'm very proud of the fact that the government has put a stop to that on behalf of the British Sikhs. <laughs> so a very warm welcome, a very big thank you for the contribution that you make to our country, uh, a special recognition tonight of the importance of, of your faith, and above all, a very big thank you for all that you do for our country and for the warm welcome that I was given on that historic trip to Amritsar. I was quite surprised that no serving British Prime Minister had been, not only to visit the Golden Temple, but also to see the site of that dreadful uh, event that, that, that happened in the last century. And I think it's important to go, to pay your respects, to understand the birthplace and the heart of your religion, but also to understand what was done all those years ago that should never have been done. So you're hugely welcome here. I'm proud that it's my third reception. I look forward to many more like this. You should think of number 10 Downing Street as one of your homes. Thank you very much. <laughs> And now I've actually got Vic Sethi here with me. Yeah, it was a lovely atmosphere. I mean, first of all, thanks to uh, the Prime Minister for inviting us all here for the Vasaki. It's the third time he's done it in the year, in the th th three years. Uh, it was a brilliant uh, thing. It started with uh, basically a, a Shabbat, and then there was an Ardas, and then obviously the Prime Minister gave his speech where he has, in fact, confessed that he was very, very impressed with his trip to Amritsar. He says no matter how much tension he's got in England, in the UK, with the EU and all that, but, but the, uh, but the uh, environment in Amritsar was so pleasant that he just loved it and he forgot everything. And he also talked about this, the um, services and the type of quality the Sikhs have. And he, he's really impressed and he's saying that's the reason this is a token of appreciation that I'm doing these functions and I would love to carry on doing them as long as I'm here in the 10 Downing Street and treat this as your own home. That's absolutely fantastic. So he actually said, you know, treat this as your own home, which I think is very, very humble of him to say. And also, um, how important do you think it is that Downing Street celebrates Vasaki now? Because it's the third year in a row now that Downing Street is celebrating Vasaki. How important is that? I think it's very important. It, in fact, um, uh, we Sikhs should be proud of it that, uh, you know, it's, it's never happened before. Yeah. You know, we, we, I mean, I've come from Kuwait. I've lived all my life there. I was born in India. But we've never seen this anywhere, a prime minister's residence and celebration of Vasaki. That's unique. That, that is something great. And we all should be proud of that and the support they've given us and, you know, the affection they've given us. You know, and it's, it's fantastic. It feels like home. That's brilliant. And I uh, also want to give you some uh, fantastic news about Sikh Channel. We're now live in Canada as well. So what do you think about that, that we're now going, bringing millions of Sikhs together? Oh, that is a fabulous news. I've been waiting for that for the last year or so. And 
I, I really am very, very, I congratulate the Sikh channel for all their efforts, for what they've you know, put into it. Uh, they've done brilliant work in the UK and Europe. And now it's really, it's a proud moment that we are in Canada and I mean, very soon we'll be in America and so on. And I think they're working with Dish Network and so on. And it's, it's fantastic. I think it's a brilliant news for even the people in Canada. So people in Canada, America, you know, you guys are lucky. And I wish you all the best. And, you know, really, you're going to enjoy the Sikh channel. That's brilliant. And now the Sikh channel is trying to really fulfill bringing millions of Sikhs together. What do you think is next for the channel? Well, I think the next is now. I mean, we, you know, we, we're here. We have now gone into Canada. I think the next step is now. I mean, we've, we've got Europe. We've got America and Canada. I think the next is now Australia. I mean, India, we've got India. There's too many channels there. But I think next is Australia. We need to get to there. We have a lot of Sikh brothers, we have Sikh families living in Australia. And I think uh, it's, you know, completely away from all the continents. So if we are there, we've literally covered the world then. That's fantastic. And finally, to finish off, uh, what message would you like to give the Sikh channel viewers out there uh, for the celebrations of Vasaki? Uh, to every viewer, to every Sikh in this world, uh, and luck, luck with Ayahor, Sikh channel, no, and thank you very much, Sikh channel, the Jerry Air cover, and they're doing a fantastic job. Why group, Kare, is Sada Hamesha, Injay, Hazde, Kere Mate, Kardere. Big Seti, thank you very much. Bye, Gruji Ka Khalsa. Bye, Gruji Ki Fateh. So firstly, I will come to you, Faji. What do you want to say about Vasaki and what do you want to say in particular about the event that happened in 10 Downing Street? Today, the 10 Downing Street has been very good. All the Sikh channel has been very good. All the Sikh channel has been very good. Bye, Gruji Ka Khalsa. Bye, Gruji Ka Khalsa. Bye, Gruji Ka Khalsa. And Vasaki has been very good. All the Sikh channel has been very good. और खालसे का जन्म आप इंडिया तो बहुत मनाने इतने भी गुरुद्वारा साहब भी बहुत मनाने पर जो योजे थानते जो आई सैलीब्रेसन होंगी है साढ़े सिख धर्म साढ़े मैं समझा कि जोड़े योजे त्यौहार मनाए जाते हैं वो तो होर बहुत एक उत्साह मिलता थोड़ा तो बहुत चंगा लगता कि टेन डाउनिंग स्ट्रीट एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर के घर आ सैलीब्रेट कर रहे हैं सो वी रियली प्राउड एंड वी रियली थैंक्स टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर जिन्होंने साडा अच्छ इतने प्रोग्राम करवाया और सारी से कॉम बहुत बहुत उन्हें देतन वादी है क्योंकि बहुत चंगी गाले हैं मैं समझता हूँ कि व्हाइट हाउस भी इतना प्रोग्राम होने दिया एंड होर भी होने दिया सारी ये कंट्रीज़ ने बेचैसे तरह इधर नाल साड़ी सिखा दिया कि नमी पहचान बन दिया साड़ी दस्तार दी पहचान बन दिया सो बहुत चंगा लग and I remember the first time we actually started it, I approached the Prime Minister and said, look, we really need to celebrate for Saki at number 10. And helping organising it and putting the idea is one thing, but ultimately it's a Prime Minister's choice on whether he does it or not. And I have to say, he's been fantastic in his support. So, really good event. I think everybody enjoyed it, everybody came together, and it's a real positive day today. So was it your idea that you pushed, you really pushed the celebrations at Vasaki to actually happen three years ago? I just think it's important for us as a community to be uh, recognised. And I'm glad that the Prime Minister was able to facilitate that. Um, but yeah, I think it's absolutely important. We celebrate so many things at number 10. Why shouldn't we celebrate for Saki? After all, Sikhs make a massive contribution to Britain. We should celebrate that. Absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit what happened in the um, Downing Street? Because we didn't actually, unfortunately, get to film inside yeah. because of the security. So can you just tell us a bit about what happened? It was quite, the Prime Minister came in and then there was some Keaton which is quite nice and I think it just created the atmosphere really well. And then we had the Adas as well. So it was a nice... And then the Prime Minister delivered a speech as well. So I think it was... Overall, the event went really, really well and he just recognised the massive contribution that Sikhs make to the UK and I think it's a wonderful, wonderful event, really. What did you think of the Prime Minister's speech? Did you think it was a fitting speech for Vasaki? Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to be quiet because I did actually talk to him about the speech as well. So I'm going to did, be... you, did you help her make no, the speech? I wouldn't say I helped make the speech, but, you know, it's... All I would say is uh, the whole philosophy of Sikhism, I've sort of managed to impress upon the Prime Minister, and he's interested in it. This is the important message I want to make today. It's not about what I do. The Prime Minister's genuine interest in this. He's engaged with it. No, no matter how much I recommend it or advise him, ultimately it's his choice on whether we progress it, and he's more than happy to support it. Vesakhi Mubarak, to all the viewers, it is such a matter of pride that we are Sikhs and best among the rest. Thanks to Guru Gobind Singh Ji for establishing a brother, brother of, brotherhood of Khalsa, which changed the way 
mankind was being treated and now we are a liberated community we are punching above our weight because of the leadership of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and tonight we have celebrated Vasaki in number 10 Downing Street the Prime Minister who had came who had recently come from Amritsar and Jalalabad was so touched and moved with his experience and he described the experience of Golden Temple what a place of tranquility love harmony where people from all shades and colors and religions are welcomed and they were having langars. He said, I enjoyed the smell of chapatis there and saw the beautiful calm waters of Amritsar and I felt so, I was, I felt peace with myself. And then he went to Jalayamalabag, of course, he said it was a dreadful act which we should condemn wherever we can. But then he praised the Sikh community for their hard work, their philanthropy and their law abiding, he said they are the, they are the most hard-working community. They commit very little crime. And then above all, he praised the Sikhs for fighting in two great wars with, with the Brits and changed the course of many battles. So we are very proud, and this is a great e e a tribute to Sikh gurus and their vision that tonight we are at number 10 Downing Street celebrating their vision. Thank you. And this year was a very special year indeed, as history was made. For the first time ever, Girtan was performed inside 10 Downing Street. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us here today to celebrate the creation of the Khalsa, which is Vasaki, 1699. We will be reciting a hymn from the Guru Granth Sahib Ji in Rag Bilabo with my Guru Ajit Dev Ji. The main divine message of this hymn is the perfect Guru has saved me by enshrining the holy name into my heart. And through meditation, I have found peace. And now I'm joined by the Leamington Spa Gurmukh Academy. And um, first of all, I'm going to come to you. How did it feel to actually perform Girtan at 10 Downing Street? Um, amazing. It's like a lifetime opportunity. Like some 10, 11 year olds don't normally get to do this, but I've been really lucky to be part of the group and do it here. Were you nervous, be honest? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. How did you overcome that? You just went for it. Um, yeah, I tried to let down and not smile too much. That's fantastic. How did you feel doing Girtan at 10 Downing Street? 
It was amazing. It was like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And, and were you a little nervous? Yeah, it was at the start, but I think <laughs> I got over it. Did you guys get to actually meet David Cameron, any of you? You did, and what did you say to him? Um, well, we didn't get to like talk to him properly, but we got a photo with him. Oh, that's fantastic. So you're going to go home and frame that picture now. That's absolutely lovely. And uh, now if we can just talk to the Gyaniji as well. well. How important do you think actually having Vasaki here in Downing Street is for us Sikhs? Wai Guruji ka khalsa, Wai Guruji ki fateh. Asi aaj sara ne rol milke Pradhan Mantri ji de Downing Street de vich Vasaki manai hai. और सानू इदा लगा कि जिमें असी सारे एक भाईचारक तौर पर रह रहे हैं और अरदस इतने हुई है विसाखी की और ये पहली बार है कि डाउनिंग स्ट्रीट के अरदस हुई है विसाखी और खालस की चढ़ती कला और सरबत्त के भले वास्ते और जी सब तो वही गल आ साइम मिनिस्टर साहब जी ने अज गल कही कि जदों यूरोप के भी या इतने इंग्लैंड भी साड़ी दस्तार का मसला या साढ़े फाइव केस का मसला है उन्होंने कहा कि बिल्कुल असी थोड़े तो नाल पूर्ण भरोसा दिता असी लौड़ पई तो कानून भी बनावे ये भी गल उन्होंने कही है और दूसरी गल मैं भी आया मैं किसी सिक्योरिटी वाले ने किसी सरी साहब न किसी दस्तार होर उन्होंने टच नहीं किया और बड़े माण वाली गल आ कि असी अज रल मिल के लमेंटन की जी संगत होर आस पास की सारी संगत असी रल मिल के अज प्रधानमंत्री जी के निवास स्थान पर यह विसाखी मनाई है ये सदभावना प्यार देखो जी कोई भी चीज़ है ना प्यार हल कर सकते हैं प्यार एक बहुत व्डा हथियार है और प्यार असी हर एक जित सकते हैं प्यार असी दूसरे पर प्रभाव पा सकते हैं सो असी सारे ने प्यार भी संगत उसी बच्चे वेख रहे हैं सारे पिछले संगत वेख रहे हैं आप सारे ने रल मिल के जी विसाखी है वह आप मनाई है मैं नाम बलजिंदर सिंह आई नॉट द मेन ऑर्गनाइज वन ऑफ द ऑर्गनाइज इज मेनी ऑर्गनाइज विद इन गुरमुख सिंह अकेडमी एंड हाउ डिड यू एक्चुअली हेल्प टू ऑर्गनाइज द इवेंट एंड एंड गेट ऑल ऑफ दीस लवली चिल्ड्रन हियर द चिल्ड्रन हैव बीन लर्निंग फॉर 2 3 इयर्स नाउ एम अंडर उस्ताद अनूप सिंह एंड उस्ताद बलजिंदर सिंह एंड अमिंदर सिंह जी um so we've been together as a jatha for a while um we were contacted I was contacted by a local mp chris white um because um he was asked to provide the kirtan and the uh, gyanji from his constituency um so we came along and had a meeting with martha and uh, eventually were able to bring quite a few of the students down so it was an experience for all of them hopefully it will inspire them uh, to carry on and and you know achieve bigger and better things so And how did it actually feel for yourself going into Downing Street? Is this the first time that you've been inside? Um no, I've I I have visited before, but I think for the first time to sing Shabd Gurbani in the rag with Guru Sajid for the that sound to be vibrating within the walls of Downing Street um it's a very special occasion, very deep spiritual occasion for us. Um so that that was, you know, unbelievably uh, um amazing. And how important is it for Vasaki to carry on in Ten Downing Street for years to come? We I mean the Sikhs contribute a lot to United Kingdom and we have done since you know the times of the mutiny 1857 both world wars uh, many of our forefathers gave their lives um for the United Kingdom um we fought alongside the British so we have a very long and deep relationship Maharaja Dilip Singh was brought here from earlier on the raj and that continues obviously you know with the our forefathers that came here and worked hard for this economy um and really gave us all um the the life that we now you know we live so i think it's important to carry on that relationship but not only carry on it's good that it's been recognized now on a you know on a level in terms of religion which is very important baji thank you very much bhi singh suri hai main conservative party da ek bada strong member ha te नंबर टेन डाउनिंग स्ट्रीट तो अज तीसरी दफा प्राइम मिनिस्टर डेविड कैमरन ने विसाखी की सैलीब्रेषन रखी है और मैं अगे भी स्टेटमेंट दी है कि सू बरतानिया के सिखा बड़ा माण करना चाहिए है डेविड कैमरन प्राइम मिनिस्टर जिन्हें कि फस्ट टाइम इन द हिस्टरी ऑफ दिस पार्लियामेंट विसाखी मनाई गई है सू बड़ा ही माण है और हूँ रीसेंटली जब मिस्टर कैमरन अमृतसर तो हो कैन उस तो बाद मेरी उन्होंने गलबात हुई है लिखा पढ़ी भी हुई है 
ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਪ੍ਰਗਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਬੜੀ ਮਾਣ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੀ ਇਟਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਓਨਲੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਹੂ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਉੱਥੇ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰਦ ਨਾਲ ਸਭੀ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਜਲਵਾ ਦੇ ਬਾਗ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਰੋਸ ਪਰਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਜਲਵਾ ਦੇ ਬਾਗ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਡਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੱਕ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਸਮਝਿਆ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟ ਪੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬੜੀ ਮਹਾਨ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਫਿਰ ਕਹਾਂਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਅੱਜ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਗੇ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰਿਜ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਥੋੜੇ ਹਨ and this is a yes, sir you you're actually wearing a turban at the moment how how did this come about i converted to sikhism 2 years ago um a friend of mine um died in a car crash uh, as a result of that i went to india to see his spiritual her- heritage and uh, fell in love with it myself that's fantastic so you actually converted into the rel- religion and what do you find that you like about the religion the most what was the most appealing thing to you about the religion It's the fact that everybody does something for everybody else. It's not looking after number 1 first. It is all about, you know, what can you do for your community and the wider world, and, you know, making helping other people. Fantastic. And also, what did you think about the celebrations at Downing Street? Of the sake, I mean, they were fantastic, weren't they? Yes, it was. It was fantastic. Great to meet the Prime Minister and uh, again a lot of new contacts in there. Fantastic. Was this your first ever sake at Downing Street for yourself? It was, yes, my first time. Hopefully many more to come. <laughs> Absolutely. And what did you think of David Cameron's speech? Yeah, very good. Yeah, hit some yeah, very important points there and uh, well, well received by all the Sikh community. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Vaigrujika Khalsa, Vaigrujiki Fateh. And now I'm joined by Suncor from United Sikhs. Um so Miss Cor, what would you like to say about the events that happened in 10 Downing Street? Uh, first of all, Benji, happy Vasakhi to happy all the viewers out there. And um, the event was fantastic. It was great to see um so many affluent Sikhs who who have come to um celebrate um Vasakhi at the reception with Mr. Mr. Prime Minister David Cameron. And again, it was really nice to see that the Prime Minister is really um proud of the the Sikhs um within the UK because we do play such an integral role uh, for obviously the economy here. So it was it was brilliant. Yeah, it was a great honor to be here again. And what was your favorite part of the event? Um just um seeing um first of all the kitten was amazing. And um, as well as that uh, we actually gave um David Cameron a picture of him at um their bar side from an artist inquisitive and he was really really happy to see that. So it was a good event. Uh, That's the fantastic. End, yeah. You got to spoke to him. Uh, what did he actually say? Uh, he was just again um honoring the Sikhs in the UK and the I think he was very proud um, and as well as that he recognizes like our identity here and how important it is Sankor thank you very much thank you well I've just been to the uh, Vaisakhi celebration in uh, number 10 Downing Street which uh, it's in its third year and each year it gets a bit bigger uh, the food I think I hope gets uh, I would like to say gets better and more diverse and it uh, becomes more and more relaxed each time it's uh, a good opportunity to celebrate what the Sikh community is offering to Britain to celebrate a very important religious festival uh, and to see lots of old friends and it's been a very enjoyable evening Vaigrujji ka khalsa Vaigrujji ki fateh ji so uncle ji what did you think about these celebrations at downing street today well in fact it was uh, i as general secretary of the british sikh consultative forum and in the jit singh network sikh organizations we insisted that uh, we have a separate function from diwali 3 years ago and that's how it started so it's been the the third one so it's, it's good yeah that's fantastic so you've been at every um, every vasaki yeah yeah in a way sort of we uh, we pushed down downing street to hold this function on a yearly basis and so we're glad that it's become a permanent feature now so how did you actually push ten downing street to well, actually uh, carry out these vasaki celebrations well because we are we have an uh, interface with the government um and there was a diwali function here they were trying to mix us together with gunanand devji's janamdin uh we said we well, look you know it's best to separate the two and our biggest function is vasakhi uh celebrate that so there's a bit of a it, it becomes a sikh function the prime minister was very very keen to go ahead with that and so that's yeah. absolutely fantastic i mean it's phenomenal that downing street is actually celebrating vasakhi and what did you think of david cameron's speech very good i mean i uh, i think he brought a good personal touch with uh, having gone to darbar sahib 
um, and I think he's seen it. It's, it's, uh, he said he was quite moved by it. He's got memories of it, uh, which, which is a tes testimony everybody gives. Everybody who's been to Harmanda Sahib uh, says about that how calming it is, uh, even though it's such a big crowd. So I think that was, that was a good touch. And what message would you like to give to the viewers about Vasaki? Um, I think uh, we, we are proud of this country. Um, they understand our values, cultures, and uh, it's good that even at the highest office, the Prime Minister's office, uh, they've started celebrating one of the most important functions in the Sikh calendar. Mr. Raiji, thank you very much. Vaigruji ka khalsa, Vaigruji ki fateji. And now I'm joined by our British armed forces who represent the Sikh community. So what, what, what went on in 10 Downing Street? What would you like to say was your favorite part of the Vasaki celebrations? Um, I think um, the fact that David Cameron actually had quite a good idea of Amritsar and our history, I think that was very, very special. That's fantastic. And what would you like to say about the Vasaki celebrations that went on here? Well, he embraced the Vasaki like he did last year and the year before, and his knowledge of the history of Vasaki. And today, actually, I found out that the first Sikh uh, entered this country 160 years ago, as of next year. That's brilliant. And his knowledge is just of the standard, to be honest. So, yeah. Mr. So, you didn't actually know that back no, then? You learned that from yeah, coming here yeah. to Downing Street? Yeah, the Prime Minister told us. Yeah. Fantastic. And Faji, what did you think of David Cameron's speech? I mean, he talked about um, actually making Downing Street as our home. What did you think about that? It was very welcoming, wasn't it? It is very welcoming, and it's, uh, it's so fitting. Uh, and we're very grateful to the Prime Minister on behalf of the British Armed Forces Sikh Network, which we've just formed, uh, for holding Vasaki number 10. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great, uh, great day for us all. And on behalf of the British Armed Forces Sikh Network, I'd like to wish you and all Sikhs across the globe a very happy Vasaki. Happy Vasaki to yourself as well. And coming to the British Armed Forces, I mean, how does it feel to be representing the Sikh community in the British Armed Forces? Do you know what? It's an absolute honour being here at 10 Downing Street, especially as a Sikh. Um, I joined over 10 years ago where you know, we were limited in numbers. But over the past decade, we've actually grown quite a lot. And as uh, my colleague here, Max, just mentioned, um, we now have the official British Armed Forces Sikh Association. Um, and you know, that will engage, hopefully, with the wider Sikh national and international youth. And uh, just put the message out there that the military is a great career path for anybody that wishes to join in the future. Thank you very much. And did you actually get to meet David Cameron today? Yeah, this is my second time being here uh, with Ranveer Singh. And yes, uh, we were the first one to meet the Prime Minister. Just introduced myself. Yeah, it was good. And what did he say to you? Uh, just asked me my name and which regiment I was from. Yeah. yeah. So probably a great experience to speak yeah. to him. Yeah, it was, especially, you know, you feel it's one of first, especially him being to a Golden Temple in Amritsar. Uh, it was a great experience to know him and also uh, it was a good experience inside. Uh, the history history has been made uh, with the uh, Kirtan happened first time, so it was a good experience. Yeah. Baji, thank you very much. And lastly, what would you like to say to the viewers out there who are watching Sikh Channel? Uh, it was a great pleasure to come here to Downing Street again. Uh, we've been coming for the last uh, number of years. Uh, and I'd like to thank the Prime Minister David Cameron for inviting us here and giving Sikhs a recognition. Um, as was pointed out by my colleagues, uh, the British Army uh, has, uh, along with the Navy and the Air Force, has put together a tri-service Sikh network uh, and official Sikhs have been recognised for their work in the Armed Forces. We were recognised here today. Quite pleased today to find out an historical fact from the, the Prime Minister um, that Sikhs in prison uh, have the lowest, they have lowest number of Sikhs, uh, lowest number of ethnic minorities is Sikhs in prison. Um, so, you know, we're doing well there. We're a part of integrated society uh, and I would encourage all Sikhs um, to live like they've been living in the United Kingdom and take your haq, be recognised. Uh, thank you very much. May I first of all thank you so much say how grateful we are and should be to the Sikh Channel for covering this program at number 10 Downing Street. And I gather they have extended the operation so that they are now operating from Canada also. I knew they were, they had gone to East Africa, which is very heartening to know that they are now operating from, from, from Canada. This function t t tonight at number 10 Downing Street is, is the fourth, I think the third one or the fourth one held by the Prime Minister. And it's been great to be here. He was particularly, I think, vocal 
um, in telling us about his visit to Amritsar, about the contribution of the Sikhs, the contribution that they have made to the life in this country. And I think it was really very, very nice of him to, to, to say that. And, uh, and we are all very glad to be here uh, to take part in the, in the celebrations. Vaisakhi, of course, although it's considered to be a Punjabi affair, but we are celebrating it not in Punjabi, but in England, which is now the home to something like half a million Sikhs. So it was a great pleasure to be here and to be a great occasion. Thank you. What did you think about the celebrations that happened in Downing Street today? Well, I mean, I think it's a fantastic place to have the celebration of Vaisakhi. As the Prime Minister said, this is the third time in three years that he's actually held this and, and, and led it, and it's a great recognition of the huge contribution that the Sikh community makes in the UK and what was really wonderful that people from across the UK were able to come today to the heart of government to listen to the Prime Minister to enjoy some great entertainment and make new friends and above all to demonstrate that the Sikh community is making a huge huge contribution in this country and that's something we should all be applauding. And uh, the Prime Minister also said in his speech in Downing Street as well, he said that um, everybody is welcome and to make Downing Street their second home. What do you think about his speech? Well, only the Prime Minister can invite people to make this their second home. I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I think his speech was very touching. And I was with him in Amritsar when we went to visit the Golden Temple. And he was really visibly touched by going around that very holy place. Uh, and, you know, as he said himself in, the, in, in, in his statement, that it was a very serene place. Um, and when he, you know, has sort of troubled thoughts or whatever, he does think back to the time when he was in Amritsar at the Golden Temple. And I think that's something that he will remember, and certainly I will remember as long as I live. And um, what did you yourself personally think of Amritsar? Well, I, I thought it was, it was fantastic. I mean, I, I was born in India myself, but uh, I had never been to Amritsar. And for me, it was a revelation. And I think particularly the Golden Temple, it's something that, you know, you talk about, you hear about, but to be somewhere like that, the Holy of Holies, was really a wonderful, uplifting experience for me. And I know for everyone who was on the delegation. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. I think they really matter because they're an opportunity to say thank you to British Sikhs and the enormous amount they contribute to our country. And I think also to recognize what the Sikh religion has brought to civilization, their emphasis on spirituality, yes, on work, yes, but also on serving the community as well. Well, there are around 600,000 Sikhs in Britain, and they make an immense contribution. You see so many Sikhs succeeding in business. You see so many serving in our armed forces, as they have done for generations. And you see a growing Sikh contribution in the arts, in culture, and in sport, too. Well, the British-India relationship is strong, and I think is getting stronger. But something I was able to do that no serving British Prime Minister has done before was go to Amritsar in the Punjab and to go to the Golden Temple, really the spiritual home of the Sikh religion, and to pay my respects there and to see for myself this immensely spiritual place. And it was a very moving experience, and I think it gave me a greater understanding of the Sikh religion and what it means to so many people in our country. Absolutely. And uh, finally, what message would you like to give to the viewers of Sikh Channel about Vasaki? I just don't want to wish, obviously, everybody celebrated last weekend. Happy Vasaki. It's about Sikhs coming together. It's a difficult time, obviously, at the moment. And just I want to just make a small message as well. I've spoken to William Haig about Dr. Buller's position. Obviously, we were there last week when the news was breaking, uh, when we were having the breakfast show. And I've spoken to William, uh, William Haig specifically about this issue and I think he's going to raise it as well with the Indian government so it's about making sure that our voice the Sikh voice is always heard and it's heard at number 10 today and it's heard within government I think that's important but it mainly the Sikhi message is bringing everything together about talking about our Sikhi message and spreading that out to everybody that's fantastic and uh, also actually you talk about William Hague and how you're spreading uh, the message of Devinder Pal Singh Bola. Well, what actually is he going to do? I mean is he going to speak to the Indian government? Well ultimately the choice is the Indian government on this and um, that is the important thing. What we can do, we can speak with a British voice on this and our community can speak but ultimately it's the Indian government choice on this but I think there's an important message here. India in the 21st century is going to be a very, very important country in terms of its value and how it portrays itself to the rest of the world. It's important that it approaches that with maturity, sensitivity, particularly how it looks after all its citizens. That's very, very important. Paul Apple, thank you very much. Thank you.
So that was the event at Downing Street today, and it was such a happy event here for Vasaki, the third uh, annual Vasaki that was held here at Downing Street, and the Prime Minister spoke very, very warmly of the Sikh community as well, and we got to speak to some of the makers and shakers that were inside the building behind me. Uh, it's been very, very honourable to be here, and I'm Manfred Kaur reporting for the Sikh Channel. Bye, Grujika Khalsa. Bye, Grujiki Fateh.